Hello and welcome to the David N. Ark Ski Jump Championships. I'm your host, David N. Ark. This competition features the default version of each vehicle model that comes with Beam NG. This is for pure vehicles without any outside modification. There are 20 vehicles that come with Beam NG, and those 20 vehicles have been divided into five groups of four vehicles each. The groupings were put together by a five round randomization. Each group will take part in a two-heat preliminary competition. Scores are based on the distance the vehicle travels, minus the penalties for deformation and for brokenness, according to the Beam Node UI. The final scores from the two heats will be averaged, and that determines the final score. Each video will feature a four-vehicle grouping. At the end of all five preliminary rounds, the top 16 vehicles will move on to the championship tournament. The championship tournament will narrow the field from 16 vehicles down to eight, and then from eight down to four final vehicles. The four final vehicles will appear in the final round of the David N. Ark Ski Jump Championship and will determine which default vehicle is the best at downhill ski jumping. Buckle your seatbelts, grab your lift passes, and let's head for Championship Ski Jumping Action! Hello and welcome to round four of preliminary action for the Ski Jump Championship. I'm your host, David N. Ark, and today, before we get into the scheduled four vehicles, um, I thought it was important to uh, take the ETK K series. Um, we ran into uh, an issue during that uh, second round where uh, it was pretty much my fault that uh, the vehicle got a negative score in the uh, second heat. So in the interest of integrity and fairness, I'm going to take the ETK and we are going to do its second round right here. So let's throw a mama from the train and see what happens. All right, so again, this will count as the ETK's second oops, preliminary round. Great, I'm about to do it again. This, man, I just can't. Man, whew, these cars, man, I tell you what, sometimes they're just a little crazy. However, this one will count, and that is definitely 115 meters. And, ooh. <laughs> not, not much I can do in the way of braking, man. <laughs> All right, so a 29.01 deformation and an 11.71 brokenness. That changes the overall score for the ETK K series up to 107.105. So, um, I just, I've, I'm going to feel better. Uh, I mean, it's, I know it's not all about me feeling better, but <laughs> I just, I, I feel it's going to be a more honest representation of what these vehicles do uh, by making sure that uh, if there is major operator error on my part, um, then uh, I'd like to just uh, make sure that that gets corrected. Um, so, um, anyhow, that's what's going to happen there. Right now, we are going to uh, jump we're going to jump into regular round four action so this is uh, going to feature the pigeon the grand marshal the D series and the barstow um, this should be interesting <laughs> let's see what, uh, and I can't the pigeon is one of the hardest vehicles to maintain control of going down the ski jump as we have seen in previous videos, get over that transition is what kills it right there. However, we are actually going to, well, we did make it off of the jump. However, 
<laughs> we are free falling. Oh, look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's a zero on the distance. And we've got 42.66 deformation. That is the highest deformation score we have had yet. <laughs> so the pigeon is good for setting a record. Just not necessarily the record you were hoping for, right? And then also, in terms of brokenness, 16.22 uh, also sets a record. So uh, overall, though, a first heat score of a negative 58.880. Minus 58. You just, you got to feel bad for the pigeon, you know? The, the pigeon team is trying really hard, but... Uh, Oh, is this getting away from me? Let me see a little bit. Uh, okay, nope, nope, nope. We're not even gonna. I'm not even gonna go there. Uh, that's another thing that I think I'm gonna do. Um, my original plan was to not really. What are you doing? My original plan was to not mess with any of it. Um, you know, let things happen. But man, all right, this is gonna be the third attempt here. Um, I tell you what, if the pigeon continues to misbehave this way, I'm just going to let it go. Because at some point, you just have to say, forget about it. Get over it. No, no, no. Well, that's just life in the big city, man. Nothing I can do there. It did make it off, though. Yay. Uh, but we all know, the, frankly, the pigeon just wasn't going to make it anyhow, you know. But you hate that. And you hate it for the pigeon team. But they did show up. And that's half the battle. Like, knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! I'm sure it's been five seconds. <laughs> okay, so zero. <laughs> uh, you never know what you're going to get with me. That's why you tune in, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, I'm sure a bunch of you are like, you know, if he would just not say anything at all in the videos, they would be much more entertaining. Okay, anyhow... That round ends up with even more deformation, uh, setting a new record of 44.19. However, not quite as much brokenness. But anyway, the overall average score for both heats, negative 58.945. And that means that the Pigeon is the worst vehicle so far, even beating out the Miramar. So there you go. Whoops, I do that every time. <laughs> I got to get my keys in order, man. All right, so that was the pigeon, and now we've got the Grand Marshal. Let's pop this puppy in here, and let's see how the Grand Marshal fares in round four preliminary action of the David and Ark Ski Jump Championship. I should have got, like, sponsors or something. Actually, I'm not allowed. I can't have... What the heck is that? I had nothing to do with that. What the... Ah. All right. We'll try this again. Although I... If this hap if that happens again, there's no way I can even recover. That was flat out. As soon as it hit that transition, for whatever crazy reason, the car just started spinning out. That was ridiculous. There we go. That's a little better. Come on. Can you make it? Can you? Can you? Can you? No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> that was all for nothing. Oh, well, the Grand Marshal plummets down to the earth. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's a zero for the Grand Marshal. And round four is just starting out not well at all. 40.31 on deformation and a 15.85 brokenness yikes that is a negative 56 160 so that puts it just above the pigeon in terms of uh doing doing better oh I hit the wrong key ah oh, man sorry guys <sighs> okay um i was actually trying to hit j so that the fire would continue but it didn't happen, so we're going to do this. <laughs> All right, round heat number two for the Grand Marshal. 
and uh, hey, you know, the Grand Marshal can at least say it's not in last place, or it wasn't in last place before this particular. Nope. Oh, can we get? Can we get? Can we get? Nothing. We can't get. I can't get. No. All right, here we go. We're gonna plummet down. And one, two, three, four, five. So uh, there it is. That's a zero score for the Grand Marshal for distance. Oops, 38.26 for deformation. So actually didn't quite get as deformed. And a 14.12 in damage. I mean, in brokenness, and that's also not as much brokenness as it saw the first round. However, that gives the Grand Marshal an overall average of negative 54,270. Um, yeah, putting it just above the Pigeon. So the Grand Marshal at least can say, hey, we're not in last. There you go. They can't say we are the champions, but they can say they're not in last. Let's move along. <laughs> oh, I must have stayed up late, too late last night. Okay, we are up for the D series. Um, all right, let's throw this pick up over now. Uh, we've seen the D series perform in other ski jump videos, so I've got some pretty high hopes for this vehicle. In fact, my guess is of this round, the D series is probably going to be the best performer um, other than the uh, K series which really wasn't part of this round that was just a kind of a do-over hey 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 you want to get that uh, front end down a little bit a little bit more oh look at that I stopped that beautifully right there at 105 look at the <laughs> look at the frame bending there man Woo. we are jacked up in the front and low riding in the back uh, that sounds like a bad redneck joke in the making. Where, where, where am I? 105. <laughs> oh. The D-Series grabs a distance of 105. Now let's see if we can get this puppy stopped and not run into anything. There we go. Across the finish line sideways with a door hanging off. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is a suicide door. Okay, so... Let's take a look here. I know they actually go the other way, but still. All right. Uh, we got a 2346 deform and a 3.84 broken. That's a beautiful broken score. Very well done. 77.7. .7. That is where the D series sits at the end of its first heat. Not bad at all. 77. Good job. All right. Let's uh, try this again. All right, this is the second heat for the Gavril D series. Here we go, hauling our truck down the ski jump because that is what we do here at the Ski Jump Championship. Oh, oh, the back end is, I believe I can fly. Ah, oh, man, really? Oh, you know what? Look at that. That is a perfect picture. Yay. I like it. All right, so, but only 100. So we were a little short. Hmm. Don't know why that happened. Let's hope that means less damage, except for the fact that we're... There we go. And across the finish line. All right, we have... Ooh, more damage. More uh, deform. 25.8. And the brokenness is, ooh, also higher at 409. Formula 409. Okay. That gives an overall average of 73.905. So that puts the uh, D series kind of in the middle of the pack overall. That's not too shabby at all. Not too bad, I say. You want to see my engine? Ah, oh, you probably don't want that truck. Hey, we're ready for a tailgate party. Ah, oh, I dropped the tailgate. Yeah. Oh, well. No party in the back on that one. Okay. We are looking at the Barstow. And the Barstow will round things out for <laughs> round four of the preliminary round for the Ski Jump Championship rounds. 
I know, I'm just being goofy. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> How many rounds can we fit in one sentence? All right, here we go. The Barstow taking off down the hill. Come on, get centered up a little bit. I got a little bit of... Ooh, got a little bit of... Uh, off center, but that's okay. We're we're doing okay. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Whew. That's going to be a 35 right there. No bow to doubt it. That is 35 meters, folks. So a 35 for the Barstow. And let's see if we can keep this puppy pretty well. Oh. I'm trying to. There we go. Ooh, I was afraid it's going to hit the wall. All right, so that is the Barstow 17.98 deform and a .97 broken. That is awesome. What a great broken score. Um, unfortunately, because of the distance, the Barstow ends up with just a first round score of 16.05. So. We'll see where things end up overall. Um, well, actually, hush. Actually, the Barstow, I already know the Barstow is going to make it because we have one, two, three, four. We already have four negative scores. So basically, as long as the remaining vehicles stay positive <laughs> in their overall scores, uh, they're going to move on to the top 16. Um, let's see, can I recover that? Yeah, okay getting a little worried there so yeah so uh that's awesome so we know at this point well unless something just absolutely stupid happens um we know at this point the barstow is going to make it into the next round Ooh, i'm gonna call that a 40 um i know the front end slid a little bit but i i believe that uh, it hit 40 I guess if I could figure out the whole replay cam thing, I could I could do that. I, I need to work on that, don't I? Yes. Okay. Uh, we're going to say 40 meters. <clears throat> All right. Only. Oh, I'm not done yet. <laughs> I was about to score the D form and everything else. Uh, one of those days, you know what I'm saying? There we go. Look at that in a nice little roll across the finish line a 17.62 deform with just a 1.13 broken not too bad that gives that round uh, that heat 21.25 and the overall average for the barstow 18.650 there you have it folks we have the results from round four of preliminary action here in the Ski Jump Championship with an added bonus of the K-Series just to uh, make sure that uh, it was treated fairly, uh, at least in my eyes and, and hopefully uh, in the eyes of those who uh, watched that video and may have uh, had some question uh, about that. So we are good to go as far as that goes. As far as I'm concerned, woohoo! we are rolling here. That is the end of round four preliminary action. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button if you would. And feel free to share this out with your friends and family and let them know what craziness we're doing here <laughs> uh, on the David and Ark YouTube channel. Hey, you know what? It, it's There's an international sports competition going on right now that everybody's watching. I figured, you know, we should do something similar here in Beam NG. So there you go. There, there you have it. Uh, hope you're enjoying it. Uh, feel free to leave any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories down in the comments section down below. I appreciate the feedback that I've been getting from uh, everyone. This, this has been great. Um, talking things out, working through things, listening to suggestions. Um, very, very cool. I, I appreciate it a, a whole lot. And uh, so there you go again. Thank you very, very much for watching. And we will see you next time for round five of preliminary action. That's where things will uh, end up. After the fifth round, we get to the end of that video. And we will see where everybody sits as we prep ourselves for the actual championship. We'll take the top 16 teams and they will compete to see who is the best default vehicle in Beam NG on the ski jump. We'll see you next time.